Welcome to my Beehive newsletter tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a newsletter with Beehive, which is pretty straightforward. And if you'd like to follow along or simply test out Beehive, you can click the link in the description and try them out for free. Let's begin. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to create your newsletter. Then after that, I'm going to show you how you can really edit around the aesthetics. So when we get started, we're going to go right here to start writing once you have your account, of course, and simply go to the uh, blank draft right here. I will also show you that once you create a specific newsletter that you like, how you can save it so that you can go back to it and just change around a lot of the text and maybe pictures that you use. You'll keep the skeleton the same overall, and that will allow you to save some time when moving forward. Also, just so you know, when you do want to change around the aesthetics of it, it's going to be under design and newsletter builder, and I will get to that towards the end. Without any further ado, let's go here and do blank draft. All right, so this is going to be the Beehive newsletter setup, okay? As you can see here, we have our post and we have our subtitle. Think of this as kind of being like the subject line. So as this example, if you're going to be doing a newsletter, I want to give you a little tip here. Make sure you know what your newsletter is going to be about. Is it going to be about promoting a specific product? Is it going to be about giving valuable information? What's the topic going to be about? And so on and so forth. In this example, I'm going to say since I'm Marketing Island, I do a lot of reviews. This is going to be about one specific product that allows you to create Pixar type videos. With that in mind, I'm going to quickly put in a title right here, which is going to be the subject line. All right, so how to create pro Pixar videos. Now for this specifically, I don't need to show the title in the email. I think it's going to be fine without it. If you want to do a subtitle, you can. And a little bit extra would be something like, all right, even if you're not a pro video marketer. And scrolling down right here, if you have any authors, obviously I'm going to have myself clicked off right here. If you want to do guest authors, you can do that. If you want to showcase the byline in the email and if you want to hide it from the feed, you can do that as well. There's also the ability for a displayed date. Before I get to the actual newsletter, a few more settings here like with email you can do a b test and you're going to notice the subject line and the preview text are going to be the same as it showcases right here it'll be the same as the post title that we just talked about if you want to show some social display buttons you can do that i'm going to go with none on this specifically and there's an advanced drop down if you want to utilize this and by default it recommends just leaving it blank so you can use that if needed now we have the website so this is going to be what it's going to look like for this i'm just going to say like pixar to keep it simple right uh, advanced email capture, none for that. If we want to utilize a thumbnail, we can do that. Just simply go to select. I'm going to do that now. All right, perfect. There's our cool little thumbnail, Marketing Island related. A few other options that you can utilize. We also have SEO if you want to work on the title. Uh, pretty much going to be the same stuff here, but let's do that. All right, and last but not least, we just have the delivery here. So this is going to be just segments if you want to use them. Most likely, it's just going to go to your subscribers, you know, all of them down below. So that's normally going to be pretty good. Now we can actually get into the newsletter itself. So this is going to be the design of the Beehive newsletter. It's very easy to do. That's a good thing. All you have to do is click here. And once you do that, you can start typing. So start typing. But obviously, there's much more than that. Of course, I can't spell typing correct, but that's okay. That's neither here nor there. What you want to do is click on the forward slash, as you can see right here. And when you do that, you can browse your options. So upon doing this, you're going to notice there's a wide variety of things that we can add there. Let's just say we want to add a logo to the top. I'm going to start with an image. And I'm just going to do use from library. And I already have a few here, so I'm going to go with Marketing Island. If you want to add a caption, you can do that. Now, all we need to do is start adding more text here. So probably we're going to have an introduction. So let's say we wanted to have some type of header. I'm going to do a forward slash. I'm going to go with a heading two. Let's just say like introduction. Okay, and this is where our text is going to be. So text will go here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through like what to put here specifically, but I will give you some ideas. I'll do that, you know, pause it, come back to it so you don't have to watch me type out. That's going to be very boring. I want to show you, you can really set it up and make it look great. So if we hit enter there, what we can do now is hit forward slash. This is kind of creating the skeleton of your newsletter design. Okay. We have a content break that I happen to like using. So it's going to go there. It's just going to be a divider of sections. Now, this is going to be the main part where we go into what we're talking about in this newsletter. For this scenario, we're going to be doing how to create pro Pixar videos, right? So once again, I want to do forward slash and I'm going to go with a heading too. I'm just going to paste that in there. Perfect. And this is going to be where we talk about it, where we talk about it. Okay, so we can talk about the benefits of it. It comes with a lifetime deal. They have a lightning builder where you can very quickly create it, probably in a few minutes and so on and so forth. Whatever the benefits are going to be about that specifically. But we can add even more here. Here's the cool thing. If we hit forward slash again, I'm going to scroll down ever so slightly. 
you're going to notice that we can embed a YouTube video. So I want to do that because I do have a review for it. So I'm going to click on that. And what we want to do is paste or type a YouTube URL. Give me one moment. I'm going to grab it for you and I will be right back. All right, so here I am. What I'm going to do is paste it in. And now what you want to do is hit enter on your keyboard. Very important. Um, if you don't do that, it's probably not going to show up and you're going to be like, why is this not working? So we have our video embed there. So they don't have to actually go to YouTube to watch it, which is always a cool thing. All right, and so another great thing, of course, we can use links in here, but even better, we can use buttons. So if we hit forward slash again, that's going to be a very popular command, as you probably already noticed. We can click on button here. And there's a lot of things that we can do. We can do custom, we can subscribe, see my recommendations, read online, check out my website, unsubscribe preferences and comment. Let's go with custom here. What we wanna do is make sure you do the HTTPS colon forward slash www first. And I'm just gonna do cs.com. I'm pretty sure that's not the actual website or I know it isn't, but let's just say it is. And we're gonna hit check there. Now what we can do is give us some text, click here to get the create studio lifetime deal. There's a few other things I want to edit. For example, let's center it. I also don't care for the pink too much. It doesn't vibe too well with the vibrant tropical colors that I use. So I'm going to click on the settings here. As an example, let's say background color. I think that's fine. You can also change it around when you do that. Okay. When you pick a color, make sure you actually choose it. So for example, if I want this one, you have to do like set color and click on it. That looks fine as well. So that looks a lot better. If we click here, you're going to notice if you hover over, it says open link. And if you look at the bottom right here, when you hover over it, it's just going to showcase where it's going to be going. Make sure that you check that out and that it works. Like I said, this is a random website, so I'm not specifically going to go to it. All right. And very similar to before, like what we can do is just click under it. We can do forward slash and we can do our content break, right? And that's going to be another way to just add another section. Of course, we're going to need some more text there and we want to make it look a little bit more pretty. So allow me to get some real text for you and I'll get back to you in a sec. All right, gotta love chat GPT. What I did is just created a couple paragraphs talking about this. It's not going to be perfect. I didn't fact check it. Just to kind of just show you what the text would look like. So what we can also do is just kind of make it a little bit more readable. I like having a sentence for a specific paragraph. So it um, doesn't look like a college essay, as I always like to say. So talk about this. And here's another cool thing that you can do. Let's say you want to add some bullets. So we can go in there and we can do a numbered list. You can do a bullet list. It's up to you. You can do either or those. I'm going to go with a bullet list. And you could say something like with an extensive library of, you could say pre-built templates, just to kind of make it stick out more. Uh, this could be characters. Capitalize this and animations, dot, dot, dot. I like using lists like this, maybe if I'm gonna be explaining benefits, or I just want it to look a little better to kind of chop up some of the text. So let's go here and let's do this. And what I can do is just move this after. So I'm gonna be copying this. Then I'm gonna go down here, hit enter twice and paste the rest in. All right, and let's say we had a little bit more. I'm just gonna delete some of this so it's not as long. Let's say like one of the most attractive aspects of it is gonna be its lifetime deal and so on and so forth. And then we could just leave a, leave a call to action at the bottom. So click the play button below to see Create Studio in action. So you actually don't need to get someone say to a landing page or a YouTube video. You can use this almost as your landing page itself by having the button there. And what you can also do, maybe if you wanted to just add a link in here to help get some more clicks of Create Studio is the lifetime deal. Or we could just do something like this. Say we want to get lifetime deal. We can go over, hover over this. A lot of this is going to be business as usual. If you wanted to bold it, you can do that. If you want to underline it, you can do it. You can do a strike through. I think this is, I believe it's highlight. Yes. Uh, we can just go here once again. We can do HTTPS and I'm just going to do CS.com. That's fine. And we'll do that. Perfect. Okay. And that's going to be that. So someone can click there obviously and go there. So it's going to be this perfect. That's going to be an example of like just writing a specific section with text. Let's say we want to add some more images in there. So once again, let's do one little short section here. We're going to have our heading two, and all right. So diving deep into profitable, let's just do like video marketing. I'm not going to write much about this, but just kind of show you how you can add some images as well. So we do a forward slash once again, and we have our image here. I'm just going to use from my library and the one over here 
kind of seems to uh, be similar to that. So diving deep into profitable video marketing works well with someone, you know, being underwater marketing island. You get the idea, right? And it's going to be the same thing where we're writing more text. So I am just going to put this here. I know it doesn't go together with what's talking about there, but it's kind of give you an example of what it's going to look like. Okay. And for example, kind of being repetitive here, but that's fine. We have our content break. And at the end, you can always sign off, right? All right, thank you so much for reading. Talk to you next week. I do have my little signature here, so I'm gonna go with images once again. I'm gonna go from my library, and I'll just go with this. Perfect, something like that. So what we can do now is just kind of preview. I'm gonna click on the preview button. All right, so the text will go here. You know, thank you so much for checking out this newsletter. In this one, we're gonna be talking all about video marketing and how you can create videos like a professional on a shoestring budget, something like that, right? Okay, we talked about this. Thank you, ChatGPT. This is gonna be a link where they can click on the lifetime deal. They can watch this, and of course, they can use this button to go there as well. I like having both of those aspects, so lifetime deal might be an attractive thing to click on. Also, a button might be too as well. As you're gonna see, we have this with our heading, we have our image, and we have more text. That needs to be a little bit smaller, so just something noted to myself. Uh, that's gonna be down at the bottom. Now we can also look on the web as well. Okay, so this is gonna show the title because it is a web page as opposed to being an email. Like this is what it's gonna look like on your site, just to kind of showcase that. Sure, we also have the email and we can do mobile as well. So this looks pretty good. I think that looks fantastic actually. Looks much better on mobile because it's smaller, but it would still need to change that just kind of showcasing. There's gonna be a read online button. Pretty straightforward. Now here's another cool thing you can do. I talked about this previously. You can save this as a template. So why would you wanna save this as a template? Well, it's gonna save you a lot of time overall. Once you create a newsletter design that you really like, for example, if you're gonna keep your logo there, if you're gonna have some type of introduction, you're gonna have a section, then maybe another section, and then last but not least, a sign off, what you can do is save all of this. So that when you go back to it, you can change around this, you can change around this with text, obviously replace the video, change the button and the text, and it's gonna be the same thing. This will allow you to save the skeleton of this so you don't have to go around and keep adding specific aspects to it. It's more about keeping it intact and replacing what you need to replace, if that makes sense, okay? And of course, there's plenty of other things that you can do when creating a newsletter. If you hit forward slash, there's gonna be a lot of things I didn't get to showcase. A lot of them are gonna be the same. For example, if you have YouTube and you wanna add Instagram, it's gonna be like add in the specific specific URL, right? There is gonna be a table of content section. You'll probably wanna put that up top. So if you wanted to do that, a good section would be say right here. We can go right here with table of contents and that's going to be that. So that's why you also wanna use like those headers so they know the specific sections. In fact, it's probably gonna be better if we moved it up here, let's say. Looks pretty good, looks better there, right? If you wanted to drag and drop that, I haven't showed that previously, what you do is click and hold on this and you can drag it wherever you like. You can also change this to numbers. I think that probably looks a little bit better, but that's gonna be a table of contents if you wanted to use it. And if there's anything else, once again, just go here, do forward slash, and you can simply click on it and follow the instructions. So if you wanna save that, you just click on this save template button right here. And pretty much what I just talked about, templates are the easiest way to jumpstart your writing. Your post will be saved as a template and you can use it as a starting point rather than starting from scratch. They said it much better than me, okay? It's kind of like you don't have to stare at a blank screen. You'll have something where you can just replace it. And then you can do save and continue writing to save your template. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this. If you wanna schedule it, this is gonna be the button right there where you can follow the instructions. And I did talk about the overall Beehive newsletter tutorial design. There is a little bit more that you can edit. If you'll notice that when I create a lot of these things, the colors are gonna be specific and everything is spaced around specifically, that's because I chose to do it that way. Let's go over here now. And this is something I talked about in the beginning when starting this tutorial. I'm gonna show you once more where to find this. All right, and here I am just with the dashboard on the left side, and it's gonna be right here under design. Just go to Newsletter Builder, and that's where I am, okay? So the cool thing about this, this is all about just kind of testing it around, see how it looks. So we have post borders, we have outside colors. What you can do here, so it's on 10 pixels. If you go like this, you know, you can change it around. Like, I didn't see anything happen. That's completely fine. A lot of the obvious ones are going to be different. Like, if you change the post background, so right now we're on FFFFF. 
And just like that, right? It's gonna showcase and change very easily. So we can keep it at that. We have spacing, so like the inner margin is 25. If I go like this, you're gonna notice it gets pushed over to that side. So what you can do is say, that's way too much. We can go maybe here. Or how about a little bit more? And pretty much just going through and kind of nudging it a little, saying like, this looks good, this looks good. You can spend a lot of time on this, honestly, or you can just get it done very quickly. It's also gonna show a lot of the different other aspects that you can use in your newsletter. For example, kind of like the notepad look. You're also gonna notice how the spacing in between, that's gonna be something. They're very big on a lot of the margins, where it's gonna be from the top, the bottom, the left and right. So it's more about just going through and checking out how does it look? Is everything kind of close together? Is it further away? And me personally, I love simple things. I love clean things. I like using these blue links because they stick out like a sore thumb. And for the most part, a lot of people realize that when they see text that is blue and also underlined, that it's going to be a link. And you can go down and do the same thing. We have body text. I'm not going to go through all of these, just kind of showcase and like it shows right here. Inline hyperlinks, you can not underline it if you want. I think it's it looks so much better. Like when you do underlined and non-underlined, it just sticks out even better. We have our colors. And as you can see, there's a lot of settings here. We have header text, email header, email footer, buttons, and you can read the rest, all right? This is what you're gonna be doing here. You're gonna be going through and kind of changing it around. I guess I will go through very quickly in case you wanna see the settings that I'm using in case you like what I'm doing here. Like I said, pretty simple stuff. These are all going to be for headers, which are mostly the same, except the font size is going to be a little bit smaller. We have our email header there. We have our subtitles that we talked about, kind of like the subject line, right? We have miscellaneous, email footers, buttons. So that's going to be the color and of course the space and size. And I think that's going to wrap it up. So this is going to be the conclusion now officially of this Beehive newsletter tutorial. I hope it helped you out when it comes to setting up your Beehive newsletter, creating a design, showing you how you can use that design and save it as a template. And of course you got that example about what it's going to look like, as well as changing around the design in this specific section of it, which is gonna make your life easier once again. Using this design editor right here that I am showing you, that's kind of like also editing your template because once you change it around, you don't have to change it when you're in the editor. In my opinion, that's a good thing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to test out Beehive, they're a great software to use when it comes to creating newsletters. You can click the link in the description and try them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.